to Elizabeth Hogarth Designs. This is a very special video because I am sharing with you the Craft Consortium Christmas 2022 collection. I have two main collections to show. I've got some essential craft papers We've got some A4 premium quality papers, we've got 6x6 six six papers and we've got all of the embellishments that go with them as well. I've decided to launch this as a Christmas video to really kickstart your mojo. I think you will be blown away by these collections craft consortium have created something for everyone so we've got one of the newer designers in lindsay kelly with tis the season and one of our all-time favorite house couple dick with candy christmas i will break this video down into chapters for you so that you can see hell's or lindsay's collection separately i will try not to be over the top with the paper pads but i do want you to be able to see everything so that you can make a shopping list and head over to the craft consortium website and buy the goodies that you want i know that times are tough so only buy what you can afford there really is something for everyone you've got six by six you've got 12 by 12 you've got essential craft papers you've got ink drops You've got the premium quality papers, you've got stamp sets, you've got transfers. So as I say, buy what you like and what you can afford. And hopefully, fingers crossed, the things will be here for a couple of months now leading up to Christmas. And you can add to your collections as you go. So here are the 12 by 12 papers and I will begin by sharing with you Tis the Season by Lindsay Kelly. This is Tis the Season, it's the second collection by Lindsay Kelly. The first one was Enchanted Jungle with that brilliant embossing folder. There may well be other elements to Tis the Season, um, but let me show you what I have here and it will give you a very good idea of the delights that are to come. Just looking at the front cover of the 12x12 paper pad, you can see that we've got the traditional elements of Christmas with your poncetia flowers, your pine cones, your hollies, your berries. And I believe that this is a partridge, but it could be a pheasant, but I'm going to say it's a partridge because we've also got some pears in these designs. And I think maybe it could be a partridge in a pear tree. That This is a really quick view of the paper. So you can see that we've got the black backgrounds again to make the colours pop. But before I go through that in a little bit more detail, we've also got another set of transfers. So you usually get two sheets of the same design within each pad and they're really easy to use they're really adaptable as well so you could just imagine decorating a glass jar and then putting a uh, false tea light in it um, and equally you can decorate simple tags and cards really really quickly these are also encapsulated in the new style of adhesive MDF so again you can see all the designs there I really like the detail I'm going to call it a partridge can you see all the pointillism style designs in the birds and also on the poncetias and there you have the pears and also you've got your bells and your hollies and your baubles. I've got two sets of embellishments in silver and gold. These are ad adhesive pearl drops. So they're going to be really useful for adding to the centre of the flowers and adding, adding that little flourish at the end. And then I have a set of the 6x6 papers which are perfect for immediate card backgrounds 
and we've got a set of the A4 coordinating coloured cardstock. So I really like that the back and the front are different shades of the same colour. It really makes it useful for when you're constructing. But let's save this so that we can see how well it coordinates with the 12 by 12 papers. I'm already a big fan of Lindsay Kelly's designs. I like the details and the pops of colour that she uses. She's a very talented artist and we're really lucky to be able to play with her designs. These papers work really well with the black backgrounds but you can see here that you've got your additional topper elements that you can cut out. I have taken to using a scan and cut um, to cut some of these out. I'm getting braver about cutting into the pads because I really like the elements. But we begin with the partridges in all their glory and if you look closely at the details on here you've got some pine cones that really pop up from the page you've got berries and mushrooms well toadstools really and tiny little stars and bells so even though the main design are these partridges you've got so much more going on with that paper and then it's offset with the diamond star design let's bring in these papers and you can see how these reds and these greens and the bit of the black here really works with this style of paper we've got quite a few designs to be working with so look you've got the pears You've got the poinsettias again, but they're a little bit different. They might be another flower. They could be completely made up. But we've got the same designs as we had in Chanted Jungle. These little, tiny little strokes and dots within the leaf and the floral designs. So very quickly, again, look, you've got your greens on both sides and your reds. This pattern here is slightly smaller design, but it is still really workable. You could actually cut into each one of these elements. And I really like the tiny little bells. You could actually use them in some of the older collections like Nativity, because don't forget, everything will mix and match together. We've got some beautifully embossed baubles, more snowflakes. It's good to see snowflakes on the night sky background. It's going to make your crafting look a little bit different. But then we switch completely and we move to this very delicate pale blue, which is the same kind of blue as we had in Noel, which was another beautiful Christmas collection that I enjoyed working with a couple of years ago but I just cannot get over these illustrations you'll have to let me know in the comments below what you think of Lindsay's artwork personally I think it's an absolute joy to work with here are the blues and let's just have a look at this pale blue and pale green look at that it's spot on. I really love being able to colour coordinate my papers with the main elements. We've got some pale pink and some cream in there. So we'll have to see where that comes into the colour palette. That's another lovely page. I'm going to enjoy working with this. These berries are embossed. Let me see if you can see the shine. So it's like having glossy accents on the paper all ready for you to go that's a nice design as well just plain and simple really really workable and then we've got another shot of color again with like a raspberry pink background and the stars this is like altair design paper 
I wonder if you remember colouring those in. We all started early, didn't we? And then we've got the floral backgrounds with more of the pine cones. This very cute deer. So then we've got the sharper red here and the deep red. And this cream and pale pink coordinates with the elements of the leaves and the flowers. We've got a fantastic page of these. Are, <clears throat> these are almost Nordic in their design. And you've got the mistletoe. Mistletoe wishes and kisses. And I like the stars in the background. You're not going to have to do much to create really stylish and classy Christmas cards. Beautifully illustrated pine cones. And then this one here is a little bit more whimsical. These would be good for your children's cards. And then we finish off with some pearlized golden stars and snowflakes. So it's a great set of 12 by 12 papers and it's completed with more additional toppers but again i'm going to use the adhesive mdf so that's set number one tis the season with your coordinating papers your six by six papers that are perfectly scaled down and then as i say you've got all of these elements to play with and there might be more coming out so i'll let you know if i hear anything further so now we'll move on to the hell's couple ditch collection and you'll have to decide which one or if you can even decide between these two amazing collections this is another hell's couple ditch collection so if you are a fan of snow time made by elves polar playtime this collection is going to completely appeal to you i have got my own personal favorites in here already but i'll tell you that a little bit further on so this collection is called candy christmas you've got your 12 by 12 papers you've also got a brilliant set of decoupage with your snowmen and all the traditional hells couple ditch characters but these here are absolutely amazing look at the little gingerbread people i think i'm completely in love i think i love these as much as i love the snows and i love the snows a lot they're up to no good they're decorating the tree they're really really cute and they've got their own little gingerbread houses so it's absolute perfection for christmas so that's your decoupage. I've had a few questions on the Craft Consortium Network about uh, decoupage sets. So when I come to use these, I will show you a step-by-step -step on how to use these. And also any top tips that I can think of to use these absolutely brilliant stamps. Can you see we've got tiny little gingerbread. We've got a proper gingerbread house. We've got a proper Christmas tree, a gingerbread train, tiny little gingerbread people and their friends, the snowman and the little polar bears. But those are an absolute must have in my opinion. These will be very reasonably priced. So if you buy nothing else, then go with the stamps because you will be able to use them time and time again. Look, here's set two. You've got the gingerbread men perching on a set of presents, holding hands, waving at us. We'll be able to make little gingerbread people books and tags and there's little sweeties here and a candy cane and a larger version of the decorated tree. I guarantee that you will use these stamps over and over again. So I will show you the inks that I use. I might not show you complete projects today but i'll try and share a few top tips so do carry on watching we've got a fabulous array of sequins which includes some tiny silver snowflake stars 
and the white sequins are a pure white which is quite hard to find these days you could pay quite a lot of money just for the white sequins so those are going to work beautifully we've got the enamel dots back again in an array of colours that you can see over here work brilliantly with the A4 papers and also with the colour range of the 12 by 12 paper pad we've got two brilliant rolls of washi tape and again look what you can do with those those will be brilliant for personalised Christmas tags and for decorating your envelopes and the sides of the boxes I just think they're fantastic and then we've got the 6x6 papers which I know a lot of you enjoy working with because they do make really quick and easy backgrounds and you've also got the scaled down versions of the topper tags and the additional elements you'll get more of these topper tags in the uh, 12 by 12 papers but these are perfect for your mini card so you're going to have one two three four pages of that size so you've straight away got 16 toppers and you wouldn't have to do much more with them especially if you coordinate them with the a4 papers so i think i've teased you for long enough let's take a look at this fantastic 12 by 12 candy christmas collection so you can see that it's full of hell's couple ditch imagery that we all know and love and inside here are your larger toppers this time you've got nine on a page which straight away gives you 36 easy cards and then you've got a beautiful gingerbread house in your additional topper elements along with the candy cane train and the gingerbread men and the snowman with his little friends there you've got some candy cane style backing papers but you wouldn't mind too much cutting into that i don't think because thankfully this time craft consortium have made these banners on a separate page so we're going to have the toppers and then we're going to have the banners to work with this border here might look a little bit plain but believe me we're going to be able to bring back childhood it's going to be almost like fuzzy felt with the clipboard ephemera because you're going to be able to add these pieces or even your stamped elements to this border panel so there's going to be no end to what you can do with these collections i wouldn't mind betting that some of you will end up buying two of these paper pads but let me just give you a closer look at the chipboard so this is self-adhesive craft consortium have changed them slightly they're brilliant quality um, i personally still add a little bit of glue to them but it's not strictly necessary but can you see the gingerbread houses and i love this one here in a dome my daughter has to have a gingerbread house every year for christmas so this is going to tick that box for her Then we have a magnificent 12 by 12 scene. So you could use this as a scrapbook page. You could add photos here. You could even just have it within a 12 by 12 frame and use it as part of your Christmas decor. I'm very thankful that we don't really have to decide between the pages that we're using because you have got four of each but look you've got the little gingerbread men playing and waving at us and then you've got all of this space here where you could add your additional elements you could of course cut these up and decoupage them and then add the larger elements to just one sheet it's really up to you how you work with it i love the design of these little they're like little mini postage stamps but there's a lot to cut into there very very workable 
you've got more of the postcards so we're going to have a great time cutting into these but there's slightly different images on this one so you've got the gingerbread man in the bathtub with all the candy canes you've got the snowman with the candy canes and you've got these tiny little hearts like patchwork hearts you've got a flower pot with candy cane sticks in the more you look the more you will see and then you've got the very useful pages of presents and then these ones here are a little bit more sweet orientated or nordic again so you could use these if you wanted to make up your own gingerbread house because they're like the icing aren't they on the gingerbread pieces more presents to cut out you can never have enough presents and i should say that these papers here are actually embossed you've got pearlized darker chocolate style patterns here and then you've got the really cute cuttable elements of well, all the different sentiments with sugar and spice you've got it in your white and your black but the white one again is embossed so you can come into each of these elements with the christmas cookies peace love candy mistletoe wishes little gingerbread men and houses again and you can cut into all of these quite easily so there's going to be so many extra elements that you can add You've got pages of bright pink and red Christmas trees. And then you've got this green here is like a peppermint green. So you've got peppermint green and uh, it's like coconut ice colours. I think that's the way to describe it. We've got lots of dots in various shades. And then some really pretty pearlized snowflakes at the back. Another great page of additional elements. I'm in love with this dome here. I would love a stamp of that. So we'll have to see if any more come out. But we've got a lot to be going on with. So again, here are your A4 colours. Beautiful, double-sided, workable pages. So let's pick some of these. So look, there's your green and your pink. All of the colours work with the sentiments in both colour palettes because you've got your browns and your blacks down here and your blacks and your pinks and your pink and your green elements over here. And then this is where it really comes into its own. So you can just see how brilliantly these all coordinate. And again, these A4 papers are a real bonus to these collections because now you can coordinate these background papers with your pattern papers and allowing it to go that little bit further, which is really what we all want. So all you've really got to do is take a topper, a little bit of this as a background page and then back it onto your candy cane that's your Christmas card sorted let alone everything else that you're going to be able to make let's continue our Christmas bonanza with some craft essential papers and you couldn't get much more Christmassy than a set of 12 by 12 tartan papers these tartan patterns will blow you away and to say how brilliantly that they're going to go with these tis the season and look, if you go to the redder ones at the front here, look how it's all going to work beautifully with both collections. Very, very exciting paper pad. Look, can you just imagine all the projects that you're going to now be able to make? So that's your Tartan Craft Essentials, which I think is a must-have. And then, if you haven't seen it already, this is the Ink Drops Rose. So we've got beautiful shades of pink with gold flashes through them. And personally, I've been saving 
this paper set because again I think these red hues will go with the tartan and with tis season and then if you go back to the pinks look how beautifully these pinks are going to work with your candy cane and all of the colours in here so this is crafting Christmas heaven in my opinion and then one more paper pad that I want to remind you of these are from last year's essential craft papers and again they are absolutely stunning you can use them in their own right but if you take some of these elements match them with the tartan or match them with his season you can also take the smaller elements and again match them with the candy christmas so they are beautiful beautiful papers this is my second set because i used my first pad so much last year so you've got three essential craft papers that i would highly recommend which are your festive flora that you'll probably find on the craft consortium website the newer edition which is the ink drops rose and then the fantastic tartan we've got some amazing products here and i cannot wait to get crafting as you can probably imagine i've got lots of different style samples to share with you we'll begin with tis the season again and i've gone for the greens and the reds against the black bank background because i was wanting to emulate the style of these papers where so many of them have the black background and that's what drew me to them for this particular card i began by using one of my dice sets with the a4 colored paper and this is where this green and red come in and then i use the same green at the back to back that very pretty festive paper and then you've got the MDF embellishments that have now got the adhesive on the back but I did add some glue and this is my version of a partridge in a pear tree this could well be a pheasant but I've decided because there's a pear this is my 12 days of Christmas card so that was a good start I made a straightforward DL card with the bauble embellishments and simply added a few of the silver adhesives and because you're going to be batch making this is a really cost effective way of completing your cards this idea is to add a gift card of your own so here i've incorporated the tartan paper and the pheasants or the partridges have been stuck onto little mini pegs so you could take them off again afterwards but you can see how well this shade of red all goes together i'm going to quickly show you how i made this set of cards and then i'll show you these in more detail <laughs>
you've got any questions about the cards that I've just made then please leave a comment below but this is card number one it's really effective just with those scraps of paper this is card number two where I use the scraps of paper and then the stars and then I die cut the stars out of it and then because I had got that waste it had created another pattern so I added some red glitter behind it and a sentiment and then finally the last card is matching that tartan up with the patchwork stars and the shine bright sentiment you may remember the embossing folder that came with enchanted jungle so this set the flowers are quite similar and I think from working with them they're a little bit more like an amaryllis than a poncetia but they're very festive no matter what but they also go with the embossing folder so it doesn't necessarily have to be for Christmas so it's that a6 embossing folder that I've cut the top off and laid it round the other side but you can see how well the flowers come out this was black card that I added some gilding wax on it was very simple and easy to do and then I fussy cut out some of the larger flowers and added them to the front so this larger project began life as a black mini frame from Hobbycraft which I added some gilding wax to and some stenciling effect in the same sorts of designs as the papers. I've incorporated the birds in the background there and added some red and gold and black sequins. And then finally, I added the transfers, which worked really well directly on the frame and on the glass. And then I added some more of the fussy cut flowers, a couple of layers. And then you've got yourself a nice little gift there. It's quite oriental, I think, with the red, black and gold. But you wouldn't have thought that it began life as a, a hobby craft frame I bought a Venetian Amphora die set from a buy and sell group on Facebook and I thought it would work really well with the papers so this is the jar itself it did take some time to die cut out all of the different elements and make it up and then I've used the A4 papers to make the tag and then I matched up the lid with the patterns on the side and then added one of the MDF pieces. It was a time consuming project. I probably could have made seven or eight cards in the same time but I felt that the papers warranted it and it would make a beautiful gift for Christmas because you could fill it up with Ferrero Rocher chocolates or any other festive sweets of your choice so we've got quite a range there from tis the season you have to let me know which of these projects that you're going to try i really like the way that these simple cards turned out so i could make a stack of them to send out to my friends at christmas time and i also like the gift tag the first thing I'm going to show you with Candy Christmas is how well the stamps work. You don't need to prime them. I'll show you in the clip coming up that I use Versafine Claire's. You can use your blacks, your greys, but in this particular case I use the brown Versafine Claire. <laughs>
so it was a matter of using all the little gingerbread people and stamping them out on the border and then adding the gingerbread house to the centre and then I had a great couple of hours colouring these all in adding some Nouveau drops and some sparkles and then I used the adhesive dots to decorate the outside because I wanted to use an extra set of the adhesive dots I ended up going through my collection so now I've got another top tip storage for you if you take the packet and then you can cut up all the strips into the colour families. I've been collecting these for a number of years, so I've got a good collection. And then I use the same packets that they came in. They've got a hole in the top already, and I've added a hook. So now I've got a wonderful supply of my favourite adhesive enamel dots. And that's what I ended up doing when I added this multitude of dots around the egg here. I then created this MDF Christmas tree. I'll show you the back. I'm going to decorate it, but I wanted you to see that this was a plain piece of MDF. You can buy them in two pieces that stick inside one another, but I kept this one flat, and then I used the larger pages of this set here these presents and I fussy cut them out and I layered them up there's round about 25 different presents so then I added my own little stamped hearts with the 25 days so you've got your own version there of an advent calendar you can develop it by turning these into tiny little envelopes and then of course you've got your own mini advent calendar that you can fill with mini sweets or chocolates. Back to the stamping idea, this time I just stamped in the brown ink and left it on the plain white and turned it into this little mini gingerbread house. You've got the ice and gingerbread paper for the roof and again I used a whole range of the adhesive dots and finished it off with a little bit of glitter. I would enjoy making these as a little village and you could possibly cut out part of it here and add a, a tea light or leave the roof open and then you can use it to add more sweets to. But it's a lovely, lovely little idea. This is another little mini decoration. So this is the extra from the decoupage sheets and I've added it to an old cotton reel, decorated it with the papers and then added a tiny little bit of snow but it makes a really nice could be a table decoration and then you could add someone's name to it but it's absolutely tiny you can see it relative to the gingerbread house but I love making little things like that for Christmas this is a larger project this is like one of the tag boxes that you've seen me make before I've used the landscape strips in the back there and as I said you can add the MDF embellishments. I've glittered them up and I've also added them to the front here where I've decorated the tag itself with the tartan paper and then added a little bit of snow to the inside. But I don't think you can quite see how sparkly is but again it's going to make another beautiful festive keepsake i use the six by six papers remember that large scrapbooking sheet and i die cut into it to add some sequins so i've got like a little egg holder here that you can turn into a sequin shaker card and i've added some more of the chipboard ephemera to the front 
and then you can see it makes a really funky and fun Christmas card. I also made a set of cards using the decoupage sheet so this little clip will show you how. Now that you've seen the one topper go together, rather than using all the layers for your one card, I've split them up. So I've got a set of cards here, but I've also made this festive tin. So these are the toppers that you can see, and I've added maybe one or two layers to the tin itself like so and i've also used an extra one for the christmas tree at the top and i've secured it onto a little piece of log with a matching cotton reel just to hold it all in place so there's your tin in your holder and that will easily hold each one of these cards so so now that the tin's ready you can see that's layer number one and this is layer number two that I have coordinated with the washi tape and added some of those really pretty snowflake sequins and these cards will then fit into the tin so again it would make a wonderful idea for a gift because once you've used the cards you can keep the gift as another decorative memento you don't even have to use the decoupage sheet this is one of the images from the first page where you could take nine different mini cards so the choice is completely up to you so again here are all the fabulous makes using this really craftable collection i can't choose between both of them i think these sets will appeal to different people and i think that you'll be able to use them for all members of the family all i know is that i've had a great time creating with them and i hope that you will do too Thank you for joining me and I look forward to welcoming you back to Elizabeth Hogarth Designs very soon. Bye bye for now.